What is going on guys, Beatman27 here and welcome back to another video where today I'm pretty much just going to be showing off this game I made in this app application called Scratch. Uh, it's like this game programming thing and um, yeah so pretty much for the last few days I've been working on this and <coughs> so I made this thing called Dot Maze. So. One thing that kind of sucks is it doesn't work in full screen, at least I couldn't get it to work. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to click go, press the green flag, and now it's just a fail. But every time you fail, you have to uh, click the green flag. So pretty much you're just going to click on the dot and then release, and then it'll, it will just follow your mouse. So yeah, and just get to the finish line pretty much. Come on, come on. Alright, so now we're on to green level. Ah, dang it. Alright, so I'm just going to be cutting around to me just kind of beating all the levels. Like, th this is all of the um, coding, essentially. Like, it uses Blockly, which is like a computer programming thing. Instead of just typing up code, you like drag and click block blocks and whatever but yeah so I don't know it's pretty cool I like scratch a lot in school we've been doing stuff like this so yeah uh, there's seven levels and so yeah let's just... all right so I screwed something up so luckily I didn't like accidentally save it or something so yeah I'm just gonna be cutting around to me just playing it if you guys have any suggestions as to what I should do like I still haven't added sounds or anything which I could do that in the future I just haven't done it yet I guess I don't know so hopefully I don't nah dang it gosh and it would be a lot easier if it would work in full screen but it doesn't cause that was a fail but like when you hit that, it just goes straight to, like I don't know why it doesn't work. The ball sprite is pretty much the one that has like all the coding. Um, the other ones are just simple things like when it switches like to the beginning or last screen, then it will like, like hide or something. But yeah, if anybody else wants to play this and make a video about it, then go ahead. And I'll show you, I'll, I'll like the video, it'll show up on Twitter. Um, so yeah. So, okay, I beat that level. Onto the blue level with the tiny ball. No! Okay, at this point, I'm honestly just gonna, like, I'm just going to, uh, just go straight to level 5, I think it is. Yeah. Okay. Come on. And also, one very important thing to note. If you want to play this, there are no jump scares, I promise. Like, I know with the Red Dot Maze game, it had a ton of, they like, didn't have a ton, but it had, like, that one jump scare. Oh my gosh, this is so intense. This is very, very, very intense. Sorry for the lack of Tom commentary. But it's too intense. <sighs> Final level. This is one of the long one. If I screw up, I'm gonna be pissed. Final level, dude. Final level. Okay, take a break. 
No! Oh, when I grabbed my mouse, I bumped it. Dang it! Okay, yeah, well, I'm just gonna show you guys what happens when you do win. Okay, so I just, like, teleported myself to here. So, when you do win, never mind then. Here we go, when you do win, this happens. So, yeah, um, so to restart you, just click the ball, drag it to there, and then it starts over, so... I'm just gonna play this out until I die. Uh, so. Yeah. So hopefully, it does not get ripped. This is. Not. Okay. Oh. My gosh. Chill. Oh, so yeah, anyways, that was Dot Maze. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And also go over and check it out on Scratch. Link in the description. And said that like five times already. But yeah. Bye.